Hey, Deathwish, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Guess it's about that time, huh? Let's get started. Hello and welcome. Happy Monday. We are second one week away from the end of October. The last, technically the last week away since next week is already November. The spooky season is upon us. And what better way to celebrate than to play nothing but horror games. Some of which are a nice mix of games that I have not played before and games that I have played before. It's promising to be an interesting night at the very least. I don't know, really know what I'm com what's uh, ahead for me. Thank you for contributing more to the Consumed Blue Chip Challenge. It's almost at 50%, so I imagine it will be done by the time uh, next week. Now then, where were we? Try to lower the volume a little bit. I know, well, I'll lower it on my end. Y'all can get the full experience. Here we go. Shouldn't be blasting out my eardrums now. I must admit I am cheating a little bit. My I tend to have my fears tend to be more audio based and visual based. I can handle most grotesque stuff, but I cannot handle grotesque sounds. They really break into my brain and start fucking me up. Dude, where are these controls? This ought to be interesting. I wonder why horizontal and vertical movements are not bound to anything. I wonder if I should use a joystick for this. That'd be interesting, right? Let's try on the keyboard first. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The ultimate thrill of death is permanent. They're easy, medium, and hard. Since I never played this before, I can only imagine that Nightmare difficulty is like... It's pretty much Iron Man mode, right? Play on normal? I guess death is supposed to be expected then, the pistol? Hmm. Strange the Indiegogo. This is an Indiegogo game. That's very strange. A lot of Indiegogo games tend to fail. They kind of have kind of a poor reputation, unfortunately. Let me raise the volume just a little bit. There we go. Oh no. School person of indeterminate gender gone lost in the woods. I sure hope that nothing bad will happen to me. Sure hope indeed. Thank you for your contribution to the Blue Chip Challenge. Are we the bad guys, Chad? That's the ultimate question.
tuned, huh? Well, let's see about that. It would appear that I am a person. A man? Barricade window. Dismantle. Medical notes. My old notepad. Nothing on it. Some pills. Pills here. Heels here, potatoes, examine. The only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. A homemade device producing moonshine. Yep, we're in the woods, all right. You're definitely in the woods. Let us see what these medical notes say. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Well, I don't, game. What about my feelings, huh? Generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken track to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. The fuck is this living conditions? Damn, bitch, you live like this? My old useless medical bag. I'm guessing I must have been a doctor at some point. A photo? Looks like a uh, face there. 12-685? My old Zenit camera. <laughs> uh, I miss having cameras like this. Pages this time they're empty. A rag. Interesting. I do not like that noise chat. I do not like that noise at all. I do not like the sounds it's making. Sounds like it's coming from here. Like something's trying to get out. Which is curious, to say the least. You can only select interact with objects within your reach. Interaction range is indicated by color changing cursor. I've just woken up. If we just woken up, then. Some alcohol. Another rag. A key. A board. A matchstick. No doubt to keep the. Lights on. My medical book. Interesting rashes we got going on in these people's faces. Number three, it says here. The radio's been sound for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Time to get spoopy. You bet, Winter. We ought to keep a running track of how many times I get spooked during the course of this playthrough. Let's see if we can get this radio to work. I've got some frequencies listed here. But there doesn't seem to be a way for me to actually move the radio around. Sad. Oh yeah, someone's definitely talking through there. I could hear it. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Well, this is rather disturbing. Some strange fungi going on in here. A container. The lock has jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep a useless chunk in there anyway. Locked. I could open it with a lock pick. Yeah, let's let's see if we have a lock pick somewhere. I feel like that could be fairly important. I'm still concerned. That there are cages here. I wonder what's on the other side of this metal door. I'd rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. I love that. 
How you doing tonight, Winter? So there's someone on the other side of the door that's been locked. By moi. That does seem like the sort of thing I would do, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious. Is that a body over the outside there? The left cursor has a plus icon next to it. You can hold left mouse button to open with selected objects action menu. Here's a busted down car. A wooden doll? That's a fairly large doll. A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. My dog looks like he's seen better days. Poor thing. There's a rope here when destroyed well. And my 125 used to be a luxury since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. I'm doing kind of okay by yourself? Aww. <laughs> you am doing kind of okay. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you remain okay, as it were. I don't think I'm going to be okay after I play this game, but we'll see how spoopy it really is. I should end this suffering, and I feel like I know what needs to be done, but I'm also kind of concerned. How do I access my inventory menu? There we go. I watched playthrough of this, so I'll sit back and watch. <laughs> I've seen like clips of it, so there's some sections of the game that I will be ready for what's going to happen. But I also haven't watched playthroughs of this game in a long time. It's been out for a while, right? So it feels like I'm going in fresh, more or less. Um, I know you're supposed to combine things, so now I'm trying to figure out how do I. How do I shot web? Um, hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. How to help him at the moment. I'm still freaked out that we have a wooden doll out here with a carved out face. I don't know what that's about. Daily newspaper of the Polish People's Republic. Does this take place in Poland? I figure that the uh, developers are probably Polish. I can't read shit. These woods do look damning, that's for damn sure, that's for sure. There's a room that I actually did not explore. I need to head back inside really quick. Let's not enter this room right now, huh? Yeah, I wonder why. 
wonder how you grab stuff, Greg. Here we go. Do you have to click and hold? Okay. If there's a way to kill my dog, I have not seen it so far. Not strange that we're just vaulting over our own fence instead of going through the front door like a normal person, right? Up oh, here's an axe. A formidable weapon, it says. Sure it is. Okay, so that's how you attack. Resting control scheme. My poor dog, though. Good night, sweet pupper. That did not feel good, chat. That did not feel good at all. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I feel bad. <laughs> I did not like that at all. Shit, that's loud. I lowered the volume a little bit more, chat. Because that was that was dumb levels allowed. That was dummy loud. Is the volume okay on your end, by the way? I'm looking at the uh, OBS. I'm looking at OBS right now, and desktop audio is showing fairly soft. Let me increase it a little bit. Okay. Okay. The fuck is this? A dead cow? Get the bone here. That's certainly a dead cow, and that's a bear trap. Got a bear trap now. Looks like my axe is about to fall apart. I'm assuming that's what the uh, red thing on it means. I have to run? Whoa. It was not kidding. The woods have pretty much swallowed up this road. That's kind of fucked up. This game is making me straight to my back. You're here. There's your position. The map is not marked. When you discover a location, it'll be added to your map. The location you're currently in is indicated in red. In order to not get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting lost, chat. You can bet your ass I'll be getting lost. The woods have devoured all the worlds connected to, connected us to connecting us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Get lost, Pog. Is this all wood? Is this literally all this is? Holy shit. Fallen tree, huh? So the woods are not invincible. They can, in fact, fall. That's good to know. Burn campfire. Hold left control or left shift when clicking on them. Okay.
spooky soupy skeletons. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Man, this whole place is dark. Abandoned house, huh? Oh, this house is definitely abandoned, and it's definitely a house. That's for damn sure. Is this a tree? It's a tree. Is this a tree? Are these tree trunks and shit? Wow. Huh. This must be a window. It looks like the tree is growing through the house. As far as I could see. You are a tree. Mm -hmm. As someone who typically plays druids in D in role playing games, I too am a tree. I'm concerned by the tree what these trees have done to this place though. Oh well that's kinda nasty. What happened here? In a few days it'll be completely absorbed. By the tree? The fuck? No room for additional rags, huh? I guess that checks out. You can only make so much, I suppose. Looks like they were trying to do an arcane ritual, though. You got, uh, this sacrifice here to some dead deer. You got this little pentagram thing going on around here. Oh, this used to be a wardrobe. This used to be part of the house then. Interesting. I can repair this doorway. Why I don't would want to do that? It's anyone's guess. This house is really fucked up. Got a uh, another corpse here. It's like it used to be a. It looks like the top half was a dog, but the bottom half appears to be uh, human legs. Insofar as my understanding is of a uh, human anatomy. Yeah, that's fairly spoopy just now. Oh, there appears to be a man over here who is bleeding to death. I think this one's still breathing. There's a key. If there's an exit out of these woods, these keys will sh will surely open it. Twenty one. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Of course we we decide to save him. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh, this guy is an asshole. But that... of no importance. 
I wasn't expecting that. I guess this is not the main character that you're playing as, the doctor. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I'll let you go. Gee, what is going on here? Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where's the exit? Where? Show me where. Oh man, I didn't expect any of this actually. I recognize that hat though. Recognize that hat. Yeah, I thought so. That fucker stole my key. Well, let's steal it right back, huh, chat? the bandages. Okay. I guess we can craft ourselves a lockpick as well, huh? Got a shovel. This, I guess, assuming is going to be a weapon and a flashlight. We're going to beat the shit out of this guy now. Check to make sure there's nothing else of value in here. I'll get going. Too strong to dismantle, huh? Well, in that case, we're just going to have to beat it open. What item is no longer usable? This. Yeah, well, I won't be able to repair it. Not with the minuscule stuff that I have open. Hey, bitch. Where'd you go? Son of a whore. This was not as bloody as it was early. It looks like this weird rot thing has been increasing too. I don't remember it being as being as all over the place as it was as it is now. What the hell is that noise? Oh ho ho! It looks like you barricaded the door to that room. Is that where you're hiding, buddy? I should probably get myself a weapon first. A syringe. I don't know why, but I feel like my sanity is slowly draining. Better not leave the house at night, it's safer here. You bet it is. Well, only marginally so. Oh, that's why. I have to keep it on. Need a combination to open that? Looks like their lamps ran out, finally. Mm. 
Something tells me this is not a very good doctor chat. Pinky. He has gasoline. That's weird. I thought he couldn't find any last time. I have a table leg. What now, bitch? Okay, where's the gat? Where's the uh, gat generator? Okay. Okay. Equip the gasoline tank then. Hog. That is bright. Uh, ooh, this is different. The two corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open, and I can hear a distorted voice, barely indistinguishable from the radio static. Um, 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 uh, hey Rifsty, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How are you? Four eight nine two. I wonder if this is the doctor, or was the doctor? What vast horrors await us within here? Gee, by golly, geez. Who's there? You need to apply some force in it? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm getting ready to be jump scared. You're not doing very well? I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I wasn't doing very well earlier today. I had to vent a little bit with to, to some friends, and now I'm playing some horror games. Ah! Mother piece of shit piece motherfucking cock sucking, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that's right. Piece of dog turd, I'm gonna fucking fuck your corpse. They have a small plastic chick in their pocket. What the... What is the purpose of this plastic chick? Hey, butt cramps. Welcome to the stream. I'm super late, but hello. Don't worry, Star Werewolf. We started late tonight anyway. About half an hour late, actually. This is just Poland. This is even horror. <laughs> I'm hoping you feel better tomorrow. I hope so you feel better, too. Feel free to hang out. We're going to be playing a little bit late tonight because I started late. Oh. How do you want to get out now? Do you think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it?
Fuck. Tomorrow, because I'm either hanging with school with, after school with a friend or getting my ears pierced, which I'm very excited for. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> I hope all that goes well for you, then. Or my plans get ruined by something and they go even more downhill. Well, I hope that things do not go downhill for you. I'm sure you'll be fine. Chapter 1. Is this a continuation or does this start off like from the beginning? A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Fuck. Warning. Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended that you stay in a well-lit indoors areas in order to minimize the risk. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just need to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of the, our hideouts. The inhabitant, inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look inside the pot. A small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. I don't have any mushrooms right now, though. Annoying for the first few months of thanks. Yeah, I recently came out by, so I'm wanting to make sure that people know and are, and also for fashion reasons. So, oh, congratulations for coming out. Because I think they will pick me up, pick up me. They will pick up me being bi gay because of pierced ears and my nails painted. I think it's one of the ears means is supposed to refer to being gay, right? And not the other. I forgot how that works, but if if, if the ears fail, the nails being painted will definitely be a good way giveaway. I think a soft giveaway anyway. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, someone. There's some pulsating thing outside. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. <laughs> under the window, no less. Wardrobe. A mushroom book? Uzik tick. I can't pronounce. I can't. I can't speak Polish. Um, but yes, it's a book of mushrooms written in Polish. Clearly, my nails right now are black and blue, alternating, and I absolutely love how they look. They sound cute. Road home. <laughs> this seems to lead outside. Evidently. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Do I have the tools necessary to do that, though? You have zero wooden planks. Needs three. So I'll, I'll need to destroy this wooden plank. We destroy this object then. I need wood. 
large mushrooms harvest. Dang, I hope these mushrooms are edible. This would be a very short game if they aren't. Eastern Europe looking mad different. I know, right? Not as cute as me. Aww. Thank you, Ripsy. <laughs> uh, can I move the... Yes, you can. I can actually barricade the uh, entrances by moving those. Go ahead and harvest these large mushrooms as well. How can you even tell if it's dark, if it's uh, nighttime in this game? I guess I could see still, so that must mean it's ah. Then boy, thank you for the hydrate reading. Ah! You're feeling ah. You're feeling a bit better now. I think I was having an anxiety attack and just taking and just talking made you feel better. Well, I'm happy to help. I'm glad you feel a lot better from just talking with us. Thank you for the head pats. Yeah. Oh my god. So many points. So many points. Oh my god. You have put death wish to shame. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to be scared when all this stuff is shit. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for all the redeems, Vinboy. I don't know, I could always use some comic relief from time to time, because playing horror stuff for too long at a time does tend to make one go- Oh my god! Uh, yep, yes, this is no longer a horror stream, this is now a derpy stream. <laughs> Shit. Oh wait for my- Oh my god. Uh, don't forget that you can also contribute to the uh, Hot Chip Challenge. Which is currently running. We're almost halfway to the finishing the goal. Um, and that basically, when that's finished, I'll have to force my host to eat a dangerous uh, one hot ch a blue chip. Oh, thank you so much for contributing to the challenge. It's 50% complete now. Good job, everyone. <laughs> 34,554 raised so far. Yep. And the cool thing is, I actually have two of those chips. I'm setting up a sub goal for my uh, for next week's um, anniversary adventures, where if we get a certain number of subs, I will eat a second one on stream. Yep, it's your turn, Rifsty, if you so wish. Otherwise, ah, I've been slimed. Gross. This is what they must. This must be what humans refer to as horny on main. <laughs> Rainbow slime sounds like a Dragon Quest NPC or something. Our. Oh. You redeem thank Risty, thank you very much for redeeming our Ara. You're a simple fanboy, you only want one thing. Let me bring the mic a little mic a little bit closer. Ara Ara <laughs> uh. Oh, you said you're a simple fanboy, you only want one thing. Very pog. Them boys unite. <laughs> uh, since it's the spooky season, I think I'm regaining my ability to do spooky laughs. I had to take the re I actually took the redeem off of my points because too many people were saying that my spooky laugh was garbage, so I felt bad and I got rid of the option. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad I can entertain y'all tonight. Can you believe that one week from now, I would officially have been doing this VTubing thing for over a full year? It's gonna be very poggers. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I have become glitchy, more so than usual. Same as in, you've been VTubing for a full year now? You're only two, olders, two, two days older than me? Are you serious? 
I know I've seen your stuff around on Twitter for a while now. I don't remember when I first became aware of you. 2nd November? Oh, wow. Okay. Very pog. I guess in that case, we ha we are roughly the same age, uh, VTubing year-wise. <laughs> I'm using 5th November because I was looking through my old VODs and there are some VODs I didn't manage to save, but one of the old earliest VODs I had was before I even had this model. I was still using the default one. And the earliest model I could find that was using that, and that, that model, that uh, one, October 31st of last year, was a stream where I was actually making this model. And the, the very next stream I had was as this model. You're probably the youngest here, you turn 19 in 5 months. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I was born exactly one month after Master's birthday. Master also died on his birthday. Aww. Your Master's birthday was in October? Oh wow, I didn't even realize. If I had realized, I would have gotten a uh, offering for your Master. I'll have to remember for next year. Okay. So I need wood, right? The game is not going to hold my hand and all that good shit. So... I guess that means I have to, like... Figure out what to do on my own or something. Oh, wooden logs. Empty wooden logs. A well? Oh, I can build a well with some wood. This game looks spoopy. It's supposed to be spoopy. It is called dark wood. I got a saw. Convert wood logs to planks with not wood, but it would require 25 fuel. And we don't have any fuel right now. Container room needs a uh, code, which I do not have. Poisonous mushrooms. It's not going to let me harvest those, I guess. Yeah, man, Poland looks way different. I didn't realize that Poland had so many forests in it, much less evil forests, for that matter. So I'm curious, what am I supposed to do first? Am I supposed to feed myself, I guess? We're just going to barricade the front entrance really quick. A hot one and a half foot long slugs? Damn. That's kind of hot. Alright. We managed to block the front door, but... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter all that much, considering I don't have a weapon. But... We close the door there. You can't sleep in this heat, plus I'm only a little tired. Two foot long leeches? Shit, I'm not happy because I have to get up at 6.30 and it's currently 11.25 and it's also like 80 degrees in your room. Damn, I'm sorry. It uh, was like 27 degrees here last week and then over the weekend it rose to 80 degrees and now it's like 70. Typical Midwestern weather just being all over the place. Yeah, it was really hot last night here, too. Also storming all night. I got, like, one hour of sleep. Damn, man. Sorry. I can extract ten essence from this. <laughs> I wonder what this essence does. I just want to be in my nice bed. It's very comfy. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Alright, game. What am I supposed to do next? Am I supposed to go to sleep? It's not letting me do anything with the bed. And I can't turn on anything, so... Presumably because the generator is off or something. The generator is outside, though. Aircon go-go. <laughs> Imagine have air having aircon.
I should find a fuel full can in the house above the underground entrance. Generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one night. Oh, someone did not make it, it looks like. Maybe they are waiting, uh, hiding here and then the wall caves in and killed them. Some note. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do any good. They're coming either way. Really? Underground entrance, it says here. It's 46 degrees outside right now, and I just put up my win put up my window, but in the house it's like 78, and if I touch the thermostat, I get verbally abused, so... Aw. Rip. 46 isn't even that bad. Alright, game. Where's the underground entrance that you were talking about? To this one? Not that one. Above the underground entrance. Above the underground entrance. What the hell's an underground entrance? No fucking... See, there's wood. There's, uh, logs there. There's a saw there. There's a wardrobe here. It's great. You love the cold? Ah, big mood. Am I supposed to? Because I can't find the so-called underground entrance. It says there's a fuel can around here, but... I heard some dogs in the distance, it sounds like. I wonder if there's actually a timer in this game. The fuel can they're talking about must be over here. Only problem is, I don't have a code for this. If I had to guess... Well, it's not on here. It said one more night, so maybe I'm supposed to spend the evening. And then tomorrow... I... Worry about this shit. I like the cold as well, yeah. Right. I barricaded that entrance. I've locked these doors. I can't build anything here at the workbench except some bandages. Bandages with alcohol. put the stool here as well. I don't know why I'm putting a stool here, but it just feels appropriate, you know? Not like I can break the stool anyway. Okay, we're going to block this over here as well. Or maybe I should put this over here instead.
What am I supposed to be doing next? This is one of those games where it doesn't hold your hand and it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to do next, right? You can just figure it out on your own. And I guess I'm supposed to find another fuel can somewhere. But where? Convert wood logs to planks for negative 25 fuel. Alright. This is where we are. Oh, okay, so we have to go south. I wonder if the generator is actually actively going down. Oh, I'm fucking dumb. I think that thing at the bo I think that gauge all the way down there was in fact the generator. It's a fuel level. If so, I just kind of fucked up. Like big time. We have no weapon, so I'm a little bit I'm more than a little concerned right now. logs. A bear trap is sitting there. This is the house. I'll find entrance to the underground here. Another corpse. What a messy location. Good thing we got a torch, huh, chap? You can attack with this? That's unexpected. I don't really not liking how your first weapon is the torch that you need to use to see. Going to bed? Good night, Sour Werewolf. Thanks for stopping by. Mushrooms. Food. You must return to your hideout before nightfall, huh? Well, unfortunately, I do need to get the fuel can. Ah, gasoline. There we go. Now then, let us head back to our hideout. Shiny stone? Not sure what purpose a shiny stone will have, but...
Are we back home yet? Ah, so we are. Go ahead and step back inside here really quick. Get the gasoline here. Three. Alright. Looks like that should do us for the evening. I hope. Sure is kind of arbitrary, though, that, um... You have one, needs three. Oh my god. Well, at least we can make tor more torches. That's better than nothing. Goodbye. Now that we've made it back home, what am I supposed to do with this information? Am I just supposed to, like, chill here? It's definitely nighttime because... But it's not letting me sleep. Can't pass the day. changers to cook during the night so i guess this means that it just sort of nightfall just sort of like bums and goes or something Something's happening. Why the door open just then? I'm very confused right now, chat. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There's no like. Here's the map, right? Old woods. I do hear strange things going on in the evening, in the night, so... I don't know if I'm supposed to be... I was kind of hoping that this would be like in Minecraft or something where you can just pass the time. It doesn't seem to be the case though. There's only two things here of light. This window is barricaded at least, so maybe I should chill here. My fuel meter has been filled all the way through. That's interesting. 
something lit up over here just now. There is something outside, chat. And I know what that is, but it does not look friendly. It does not look friendly at all. Oh, it's gone. Very bizarre. rising to a crescendo. Oh no. Um, there's something coming this way. Uh, okay. Never mind. I guess we survived a day or something? Looks like. Oh, there's a wolf here. But it also seems like we no longer need the power generator on, so let's turn it off now. To save up, to save fuel. It looks almost like the uh, woods have actually increased in size because I don't remember seeing them all over like the place like this. Let's talk to Mr. Wolfman. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, me. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. Are they implying that I'm actually a zombie or something? He even has an AK-47 on his back. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost if you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leaned towards me, I could hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it interests you. Before we make a deal, I need you to prove I need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. That's gossip. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you. Better hide in the hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. I show him a plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's that you got there? Wolf snatches the photograph from your hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Haha, <laughs> this road? doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. Wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. Braid? Oh, you can buy tools from him to make a handgun. Very interesting. 9 volt battery? I doubt I can purchase any of these things, though. They have all these value numbers in them, but I don't have any... ...thing that I can trade, I don't think. Dry Meadow. What does essence does?
But it seems we are safe for now, chat. Wolf's Camp and Wolf's Camp is all the further down there. Alright, let's go exploring, I suppose. What else could we do? Really? Time freeze. Here's time is frozen. Alrighty then. We should go head down to his camp there. Since we got nothing else to do at the moment. It's very, very dark here. Evidently. Are we still in the dry meadow, I wonder? By all accounts, it seems sure seems like it. I wonder if I could use the shiny rock as a weapon. Oh, what's this? It appears to be an animal of some kind. A dog or a wolf, maybe? I don't have a weapon yet that I can use on it, so I should probably leave it alone. It appears we found Wolf's camp. Hey there, Wolf. What you up to? Where can I get a decent weapon, wolf? I mean, all the only the closest thing I have to a weapon right now is this torch. So if you could help out, that'd be most of, that would be, you know, ideal. I wonder if that underground entrance has anything of value. I suppose we can try going there first. I wish this game would be more forward with telling me no. Oh! What the fuck is that? I do believe I just killed a dog with my bare torch. It left me no choice. Of course I had to kill it. Or so I tell it myself. Is there anything of value here? Some nails and some wood. Oh, fucking shit. I forgot that was there. I'm dumb. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, scrap metal? So it's broken down then. Some bread. Consumable. How do I eat the bread? 
Okay, so I can eat it with three. Cool. Doesn't seem to be anything here. But is it blocking an entrance somewhere? Oh, I thought so. Large mushrooms for my essence. Something tells me I going down here is probably going to get me killed too. I don't really have much of a choice, as I said before. Looks like it's actually lit. Some 9 volt battery, some boards, motorcycle magazine. Why does the motorcycle magazine have bars in it? 1987, huh? My lungs seem to be filling up, which concerns me. It makes me wonder if I'm starting to suffocate. But it was started up there, and I ate it upstairs, so... Oh, this torch is clearly not enough. Crushed by enormous roots, huh? this underground entrance lead anyway a corpse and I could barely tell I was even a corpse managed to find some under lights here too they're flickering though music seems to be changing and not for the better large mushrooms door. It's locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. What's in the keyhole? Faint light? So this is the point of the game, huh? To escape via the armored door. Using my key. Oh, man. Uh, looks like it's having a cave-in. God damn it. That was creepy. Sounds like something is not like the fact that I'm here. Looks like we managed to get out just in time, though. Wonder what that was, though. Very curious. Important thing is, we are out. It doesn't look like it's dark yet. These are a lot of poisonous mushrooms, chat. Makes me wonder if the game's trying to tell me something. Oh no, not again. Leave me alone, Fido. 
I'll beat your bash your head in. I don't have much here that I can use as a weapon. Ah! Oh my god. Thank you for the sub for the resub steal. Glad you can make it tonight. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This is gonna last for a while. Dropping in before work? Well, thank you for dropping in before work. I appreciate that. I'm not doing so well in this game. They weren't kidding about it not holding your hand, but at the same time, that means I'm spending most of my game running around, not knowing what to do next. I can't believe it. There's a camp here full of nothing but dogs. Great. That's just what I needed. Really wish I had a gun right now. So I could depopulate this camp of all of its dogs. Because goddamn, that's a lot of dogs. Look at that shit. Oh no. The dogs have found me and they are not happy. Oh, you bastards. It appears that I've been killed. Don't worry, you'll hold my hand. Please do. Something tells me that I'll need a lot more than hand-holding to get through this mess of a game. Shit, I lost all my stuff. I wonder if it just got re if it just got dropped there near where I died or what? On the bright side, I know where I died. On the bad side, I don't have a way of defending myself. Literally right there, too. What the shit? I need a weapon. Hey, it's my body. Or maybe it's someone else's body? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, no, this is me. This is my body. Still hasn't solved my problem, though. My problem of not having a way to defend myself. Can't I, like, punch? Can I just punch these things or something? Winter, thank you for contributing to the Blue Chip Challenge. Ow, fuck! Well, I have, that was a very smart thing that I just did. I just poisoned myself. But it just gives me an idea, though. Hey, bitch asses. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Growl me. Growl me, motherfuckers. Yeah, follow me over here. Come on. Come on. Well, that was a terrible idea. They do not seem to be working. It is raining right now, too. What the shit? Oh shit, the dogs are too smart. And just like that, I have died for my second time in this game. Except, I'm legitimately confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I'm supposed to be getting over here. To the silent forest, but it says you're supposed to arm yourself. Well, how do I arm myself? I don't... Am I supposed to stay start by start with the uh, blue wood, the old woods or something or what? At least we can extract more essence. Oh, this must be how we level up. needs to get 
I'm quite fond of mushrooms, so I will get this one. Mushroom healing. Oh, I need to choose a negative perk. But also, it can be dangerous for me to be right next to uh, dark, dark places at night. But is it dark? Is it nighttime yet? It's certainly rainy. A board with nails, a crude weapon. And just like that, I have my first weapon, chap. That's kind of pog. Things I do. Well, now that we have a weapon, we can actually raid that camp. It's near, not too far from us. I don't have the skills to use a freaking. Come on. It's literally a board with nails in it. kill one of them this time. We're making progress. I think. Death doesn't seem to have any meaning in this game. At least on the difficulty I'm playing right now. So, one way or another, we will loot the shit out of this stupid camp by slowly killing the fuck out of all these. One second. Okay, I dude, you just killed a dog in the stream. That's kind of fucked up. This will that I have killed more dogs tonight than I have killed. Um, yeah. Anyway, I just killed a bunch of. Yeah, this is actually not the first dog I've killed. I've killed several dogs by this point in the game. I could have just thrown meat, and that would have worked for worked instead. Wow, I feel dumb. Well, anyway, since we're here, we better loot the camp. Hey look, gasoline. Pretty much, yeah. That's a big ass dog too. Alright, have a good lunch. <laughs> big ass dog, yep, a big dog with a big ass. 
You know it. So we found a camp around us. I wonder what's up north. You hear that? Uh, what is up with this person? I feel like I'm going towards a trap. Well, they seem to be non-hostile, or at the very least, they're not doing anything. What a strange person. <laughs> very strange indeed. I didn't expect them to be non-hostile, but they don't seem to be doing anything. However, they did lead us to a new location. Something called a brook, like a river, like a uh, small stream, or what? There seems to be a car here that's been consumed by the trees. It's very hard to see in here too. Do we have a torch? We have a torch. It is falling apart, but it's better than nothing, I guess chair wardrobe oh bullets well what's behind here guess we'll be searching that tomorrow it's getting fairly evening or getting fairly late Oh, maybe the orange light is supposed to indicate uh, that it's getting that it's dusk. I understand now. We're back home at least. Chain trap? Very pog. Chain trap? You bet it's kinky. Now, how do I set up this chain trap? The question. Am I supposed to... Oh, okay. So there's a chain trap there. Is there anything else I can make with my stuff? I guess not. Bottle of alcohol? A 
We're just supposed to wait, as far as I can tell, for night to uh, finish. I like how I can look through the little people here. You spy on if anything is going through the world. Did you hear that? Uh oh. I hear it. Someone's knocking in the door, chap. I do not like that at all. Yeah, something is lurking in the shadows, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. That's kind of fucked up. know you I let you sir I let you live earlier you son of a bitch oh my god did he fucking well that's kind of shitty I appear to have survived, somehow. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features to the matte visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of an unnaturally pale body. It's a pretty cool looking... Oh, I recognize his hand. I think this guy saved me last time. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written in his warm, woolly, wo worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. The slips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs and takes the huge sack off his back and drops it into the crown, revealing its contents. He wipes his left glove on his pants and takes out the charcoal from his pocket and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. What do you got for sale, buddy? I don't have much to trade, unfortunately. An axe blade and some wire? Also, buy, sell some... Also, selling me some gasoline. Once again, I cannot afford any of this shit, though. Can you really use a shotgun right now, actually? 
Let me sell you my excess here. Hundred and twenty. Some gasoline, then, and some boards. Thanks, bud. Since I died inside, that should mean that my things here will be still be here, right? Cool. Not that I can build much anyway. now got any nails buddy you got lots of nails huh give me your nails and I'll sell you this garbage this will have to do for now That will have to do. <sighs> Better to make the best of a daylight, honestly. And also turn off the uh, generator. Where was I visiting? Oh right, the brook upstairs, the brook up north. tree people See what's over there behind this uh, wardrobe. Hopefully, something we can use. J 
generator. Looks like there's someone still alive over there. Maybe. Interesting. I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to visit that area. We got plenty of daylight still, so I guess it's worth a shot. Dumb dogs, honestly. What's this? I guess there is no way for us to visit up there after all. We must be trapped over there by the wood. Stupid dog that made me look bad. You bet. You bet your ass. Really wish I had a gun right now. Maybe a firearm of some kind. Nothing of value here so far. My log here, my uh, makeshift weapon here is starting to fall apart. I mean, really starting to fall apart. Oh. oh, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Damn, that was brutal. Now I have to go all the way down there just to get my stuff back. Good thing I'm not playing this on hard mode. What the fuck? At least I know where we're going. So it's not all bad. Is that a bunny? Yes, it is. Conveniently, the game seems to also show you where you died. There's the moose from earlier. And here's our corpse. No, leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Asshole. I don't have anything to kill you with right now. No, leave me alone. For fuck's sake. Winter. This is more like a survival game than it is a horror game so far. Is this a uh, farm of some kind? 
Ayo. Yeah, I could find something of use here. A disassembled tractor with some gasoline in it. Very good. Looks like someone already beat me to the punch, though. New location, burned houses. Uh, a shrine? There appears to be one person there. But they're running away. Looks like this shrine used to be one to... One of the various Christian saints, but it is now ruined. Thoroughly ruined, unfortunately. Wonder if we can do anything here. Wonder if the guy that was here earlier was a live human, so to speak. As opposed to an unalive human, of course. Let's take a gander inside this uh, dwelling, see what we can consume, what we can acquire. Oh, no. Why is it always the fucking wolves? I fed you a fucking piece of food. Why are you still chasing me? God damn it. Oh my god. Enough with the wolves already. Shit, man. God damn. Annoying as hell, oh my god. This is making me really starting to hate wolves. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Tactical wolf action. Oh my god. Here we go. Goddamn wolves. Oh, am I supposed to be selling the shiny stones? Is that why they cost so much? Holy shit! 
130? Wow. I was wondering what the purpose of these shiny stones was, and now it appears that I've found their purpose. They're supposed to be sold. Okay. You know what? I should probably have thought to look at them. Oh, not a moose, not a moose. So far, I've been killed more often in this game by freaks of nature and animals than anything else. And I'm not having a good time about that. Oh well, let's go ahead and sell this stuff for uh, reputation or money or whatever to Wolfman. I see you there. Have we found the Wolfman's hideaway yet? It's somewhere around here. There you are. Ah, Reputation 50. Very interesting. Now what can I buy with this junk? I would love to build a gun, but... I don't know what you're supposed to build the gun out of. Not that I can afford it anyway. Got plenty of gasoline though. So there's that, I got that going for me. I need to visit those burned houses but those stupid wolves keep getting in my way. Here we go again.
Yeah, this place is trashed. Oh, it's getting late. Time to head back home. Guess we'll explore the rest of this later. We have to go straight all the way straight back up. Good thing we got plenty of gasoline though. So it's not all bad. Huh? I have to remember this. Oh, that must be Underground Passage. I think we made it back home. Just in the nick of time. I don't have enough nails. Why am I not surprised? I hope the game's not gonna make me have to run to the outside lamp or I'm gonna be or we're gonna have a problem. But who am I kidding? So far the game's been liked has liked to be screwy like that, so. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. You can repair this in the workbench, apparently. I wonder. Oh, great. I don't have enough resources to do that anyway. Guess we'll just chill here for the night. Meanwhile, better do my class. It gets too late. We'll have a few minutes, too. In before I get killed while I'm doing my Duolingo classes, though. Here they come.
And here we go. Ah, thank you for the Hydra Redeem. Ah, and the other Hydra Redeem. Let me get to that and just have to finish these. Double moisture. Double the fun. Too spoopy. Moisturize really quick. Uh, the ghosts are coming back. Which one of these lamps are they going to break this time? Same one? Okay. They are fairly spooky, I gotta say. actually survive this day? Let's see it. Let's see it, chat. Asha, how you doing? Good morning. Hope you're indeed. We are playing a spoopy game this time. We'll be playing more spoopy games the rest of this week and next week as well. Ah. What? What happened? I was talking to Asha for a few seconds and then everything just sort of went blank. Still don't feel myself right now either. Hmm. I can barely see anything. Everything is vibrating so fast. Multicolored. Is that you, Vimboy? I got the spoops? What do you mean? Oh right, we were playing a game together, weren't we? Why does my head hurt so much, for that matter? Does anyone have any idea what happened? Low blood pressure and spoopies. It's strange. I'm pretty sure I'm can't. It's not possible for me to have low blood pressure, given that I am an artificial intelligence such as yourself, such as Asha. <laughs> Speaking of, Asha, how are you doing today? 
Welcome to the stream. I seem to be incapable of playing, of continuing the game right now because I cannot even see, much less see y'all in chat. Hopefully, this too will pass and we will be able to continue our regularly scheduled uh, programming eventually. Ah, much better, much better. I feel like my old self again. There we go. Feels good, man. Thank you very much for waiting. We are playing Darkwood tonight. Spooky horror game takes place in a dark wood. You could almost say that we got wood. Or dark wood. Yes, I'm aware that was a terrible, terrible, terrible pun, and that I should go kill myself. But uh, anyway, let us continue. We have survived the night, somehow, some way. Let's go ahead and turn on the turn off the generator really quick. You got the dark you got a dark wood for me? Wow. As I approach him, the man drops a sack from his back to the floor with a visible relief. He notices a smile on his face through the matte visor of his helmet. The man nods in greeting. I got stuff to trade with you, my good sir. Hundred reputation? Hmm. A long barrel? Weapon part, a generic weapon parts, and a flashlight. A shovel blade costs 450. Possibly expensive. This game has a slightly similar soundtrack to Rust. I never played Rust, but I've seen it in action. I really need a decent weapon, but I don't know how to craft. I don't know the recipes to craft in this game, so. And I understand that you're supposed to like. Yes, but you know, I guess I should go find more of those shiny rocks to to a trade, huh? Those fancy schmancy rocks. Let's try going to the west this time. Rust great game, horrible community. That checks. That sounds like it checks out. Time freeze. It's a million times worse than League was back in its peak toxic days. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, what's this? Nail? Wood logs? Saw? Is hands down the most toxic game of all time? Really? More toxic than Dota? Dota has never been toxic. As someone who's played Dota back in the Warcraft 3 days, I will have to disagree with you there. MOBAs have always been toxic. I don't know why it is that League just turned out to be among the worst of them, but... I don't know. I guess it's just fucking League. Yeah, original Dota. 
uh, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say Dodo is the first MOBA because there are a lot of games MOBA likes. They used to be called AN of Strife back then, but they were always toxic, as far as I remember. One mil hundred million times worse than Dodo One, really now. Repair the well. Oh, Io, I can drink water from the well now to heal myself. Are we seriously out of fuel now because of my dumb ass? Let me see this shit. Oh, we are not. It used the fuel in my inventory. Okay. You see, that's not so bad. Proxy chat with screaming kids dropping in bombs to try and get any streamers banned. But you need proxy chat to know the enemies are coming, just can't win? Well, that's fucking stupid. I'll need to ask the VTubers I know that play uh, d that play League on stream what their experience is like, because that sounds... That sounds like a word that I cannot use in stream. Like, why even bother streaming the game then? You play League on stream too? So, how do you play without proxy chat then? Do you just play with friends or what? Oh, they do that on Rust. Okay. I see, I see. There's no chat in League? How do they communicate then? Or do they just, like, do they just do it by feel? <laughs> I'm typing. Oh, I see. We're nearing the uh, burn. Oh, another burned house. People sometimes link Discord links in lobby before a game. That's cool. Oh, hi, yo. No room in my inventory. I need to find a way to like dump this garbage, to dump my supplies somewhere. Can I just drop them on the floor? Is that a thing in this game? It's hit and miss. Sometimes it's a great time, sometimes it's just ferals. It sounds like a lot of multiplayer games, unfortunately. Fucking shit. It's always one thing or another, isn't it? I don't have enough for this, I don't have enough that. Can I like drop stuff here? Is that a thing I can do game? Oh, so you can actually drop your supplies and other garbage here. Okay. So drop the gasoline here. Scrap metal. And matchsticks, which I have not found a use for yet. Keep the lockpick. Alright. Here we go.
I want to play an MMO, but again, but time. Yeah, big mood. If I ever play an MMO again, it's probably going to be Final Fantasy XIV, but I just haven't been able to make time for it. It's great. I used to play it. It's pretty much everything I miss from the old MMOs, all the way down to the role-playing elements. Like the actual, like the people role-playing with each other and stuff. You try to drink the Realm Reborn? Oh, cool. Something's happening in there. I have a bad feeling about this chat. I have a feeling I shouldn't be trying to access this unless until I get a better weapon. Or I should say, weapons period. And I just poisoned myself. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks for nothing, really. You got a max level scholar and did some raiding, very fun, but also very slow. The global CD is 3 seconds. After playing WoW for years, it's very slow. <laughs> Big mood. Appears that this house is blocking the entrance to the next location. I guess we won't be able to go any further there. We need to keep exploring the immediate area for supplies and for shiny stones to sell. I really like how you can max every class on a single character and profession professions are their own classes. Indeed. Hey Christian, yep, school lulls, or horror lulls, I should say. Non-binary VTuber is lost in a dark, deep, dark forest. Paging Sue. How are you doing tonight, Chris? It's been a while. Hmm. <laughs> I guess uh, Vimboy is my teacher. <laughs> the world, that is a good question. The world may never know, because I am not allowed back inside, not allowed back inside the school. Hey, Wolfman. This is Wolfman over here. So many poisonous mushrooms, God. I 
I probably should not enter the silence for silent forest just yet. Is this like a farm? Oh, it looks like a rose of corn or something. Being a very children of the corn, va? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I know I could, sp I could spot a trap when I see it. Something spoopy is going to happen if I follow these. Oh, I know what this is. I saw... Alright, so this is the part of the game where I was actually spoiled. By like a trailer. I know what's going to happen if I follow this. I need guns for this one, but I don't have any. Yeah, I called it. I know where this one I know where this one goes. Not a good idea to enter that one just yet. Uh, I've been okay. Been dealing with some. I'm kind of been suffering from SAD pretty early, seasonal affective disorder. Basically, just getting depressed, and I get depressed a lot easier in the winter time and fall time. Been dealing with some existential stuff, and a little bit of anxiety. But other than that, uh... Other than that, not much. What about you? Oh, well thank you for the cuddles. I fucking hate that moose so much. If I survive this game long enough to get a gun, the first thing I'm going to do is to shoot that moose right between the eyes. Bastard moose. Oh yeah, not so bad? Oh, okay. Glad to hear it. Is there anything that can be done about this shrine? I guess not. I know the guy that was worshipping the shrine ran somewhere down here, so I wonder if anything can be done about them, but done with them. Unless that's their body right there. Kinda hard to tell without getting closer though. And I don't currently have a weapon equipped. Too many nails, but not enough wood. Game.
This was a headache trying to play uh, Modern Warfare 2. I have to try the campaign seven times not. Why are you trying to play the game seven times? If I may ask. Oh, the game resets. Rip. That sounds like a pain, not gonna lie. Oh, and I thought it was for an achievement, but the game's actually crashing several times? That fucking sucks. Can these wolves please fuck off? God. Those are normally resets. Damn. <laughs> that sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they've been getting a lot of dreams and weird science of winning the lottery. 160 million tomorrow. I'm about to commit a sin and gamble. Closed by lost connection. Three fucking sin. My god. Why is it so... Is it like an alpha or something? Why is it so... Unreliable. By the way, all in veteran. Uh... <laughs> Do I dare make another board with nails using my board? A gas bottle? Hot bar upgrade? So I need to buy some, this weird, whatever a hotbar upgrade is. Inventory. Oh, hotbar upgrade, which is this thing. Okay. Inventory upgrade. You need, okay. That's for carrying more crap. Antidote. Love the difficulty, but man, if it didn't reset. Oh my god. <laughs> Increased weapon durability or more nails inflicts more damage. All right, upgrade item now. Hard. I need to upgrade the workbench. Well, thanks for nothing, game. No, close the door. Where the fuck is my weapon? My god, you have to actually pick it up off the workbench. That's not spooky at all. What do you mean you want to go home? Who's there? Who Who's there? What the fuck? shit is this? What the fuck is this, kid? 
Well, why is there a kid in my bed? Well, he's gone now. Something's outside and it does not look... Um, oh, oh man. I don't know what that is, but it does not look friendly. It does not look friendly at all, chat. It's a weird noise outside too. Crash did a five hour stream, reached 12 mission out of 16. Crash said, oh no problem, just need to reset the game. Whoa, what the fuck? How did you get in here? For fuck's sake! So much for this fucking barricade, oh my god. He's so I don't have any doors, I j there's a hole in the wall. I had to stuff a barricade in there, but clearly that wasn't enough. I need to apparently stick more crap, more garbage in front of. Oh no! Oh no, you don't. You're not getting in here. Go, get, 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 go, get back outside, get back outside. I can't believe I'm actually doing this in game. I'm actually try having to hold the fucking barricades closed so the dogs cannot get inside my house. Well, chat, this is certainly a game. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Come on, come on. Lights don't feel me now. Come on. Come on. Ah. We survived. Those aren't dogs. What were they then? You did it? What did you do? You got a ticket? A ticket to where? Oh. Them boy. Well, if you end up winning 160 million somehow, remember us. <laughs> The trader doesn't have much to say to me this time, huh? If I win, I'll buy you something really nice around the world holiday in a Tesla. <laughs> That's sweet of you. I need four planks of wood, apparently. We can craft more items. We can craft a lantern. I sold all my bottles too, so I can't... Damn it. But I can make some mollies and a single shot pistol.
and a custom contract with your boss to allow you to kick them in the balls as hard as possible. Shh. Eh. I guess that'd be okay. <laughs> Got a lot of scrap. I could probably just build up. Actually, I could build all these things, couldn't I? No room in my inventory. Why, though? I'm doing pretty well as far as gasoline's concerned, surprisingly. BDSM contract with your boss for extra hours? <laughs> Got a lot of scrap metal, chap. Need one toolbox and four planks. I know where to get a toolbox, thankfully. I just need to head down and make a purchase. But since time is frozen, I want to take advantage of this frozen time first. I wonder what the battery is for. I have a feeling some of these items are meant to be, you know, quest related or something. I also suspect that I'm supposed to be over time. I'm supposed to be using the start with the board with nails as a crude as your first weapon, and you just get new ones over time or something. More nails. My, my, uh, board with nails has more nails, chat. I feel so much safer now. Totally. Buy metal pipe. some more boards not enough room in my inventory that's not very pog thankfully I can just drop shit so Like, why do I even have this? I'll just drop this here for now. Drop the gas, too. Alright. Talk to the trader. Trade. Give me the metal bar. Um, give me all of your fucking wood, too, I guess. And I don't fucking know. Alright, I've been forced into a corner. I need to buy the toolbox now. Or now I have to buy the toolbox. I mean, I could do it, it's just, you know. Alright. Do we need anything else from the trader before he leaves? 
I got about 86 reputation left. Don't really need any gas. Kind of out of nails though, but I don't think I need any more nails. We'll buy some fabric. I can't afford the fabric, great. I guess that's something you're supposed to work towards. I probably should buy the remaining wood. Really wish I could afford a flashlight. I'll do for now. Wait, no. Don't I need to ma also make some more barricades as well? Yeah, I need some nails. Don't leave yet, trader. I need some nails. I need to buy some nails from you. All of your nails, in fact. Give me all of your nails. It might be overkill. But hopefully I will not be overly killed. Also, you know what? Maybe staying in this thing... Actually, you know what? Maybe staying in this room is a bad idea since the dogs just keep going through there. Annoying bastards. So maybe what I should be doing... Is staying in one of these rooms instead. Would be nice if we could just like lock this place up. Or maybe I'll just stay here. You know? home gets attacked by a horde there's like this magical gas which keeps most of the horde most of the monsters away but it gets attacked all the time by like ghosts and wolves and furries and you know the works they barricade the front door i suppose Yeah, this should be a safer area to live in. It's not like you can use this oven thing when it's nightfall anyway. So why bother, right? Yeah, something I never understood is... Oh, that's why. Okay, I understand now. So it's probably not a safe idea to keep the lamps... Okay. I see. If this goes off, I would have to run all the way over to this room, which would take a while. So it's fairly dangerous. But if I keep it over here, I'll be able to run over here really fast, but this is not a safe, like...
All right, so we can block this, right? But also we have a stool here. So hopefully, this will not be as easy to move around because thanks to physics, there is more stuff literally barricading the door. So it would still be safer overall to be in this room with my lamp. I love lamp. Chat. I love lamp. You lo I love lamp. I I love lamp. I love, I love lamp. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, so. The board with nails is ready. Let's go visit the wolf man. I love lamp. How can you even question my loyalty to lamp? Don't you know that I just love lamp? You know, I wasn't really feeling this game at first, but... I think I'm getting in the hang of the uh, gameplay loop. I was expect it's certainly a unorthodox horror game. Um, I should probably be concerned, right? Those are not wolves. Those sound like something else. Lamps? Are you saying I should go towards them? Alright, now that we got this, let's go ahead and upgrade our workbench. Is that a bunny? It's a pile of meat, that's not a bunny. Bills here. And some wire too, apparently.
Man, this full section here, this whole section, this uh, first section is fairly time consuming, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This whole section here was just the first map. Alright, alright. We can actually build guns now, chat. But they are fairly expensive. And a homemade shotgun. Oh, it fails after one shot. And a shovel. I just need a big old stick, some tape, and a shovel head. Looks like I can make a single shot pistol too. I need to get another toolbox somehow and two more planks if I want to upgrade this again. So that's not going to be happening anytime soon, unfortunately. But since we're armed with a relatively okay weapon, I guess. Let's see if we can find any more goodies around here. I think we're reaching the end of the rope though. Man, it's been past three hours, but I still feel compelled to continue playing. That's good game design for you, right? Let's go explore those two buildings down south. Only problem is, I really don't want to explore the uh, wedding house until I get like a shotgun or something. Fucking moose, Mises. No! recognize this area. Found ourselves in another location. chat burn houses get away from me
Did I just kill an innocent dog that wasn't actually hostile to me? game is starting to get to me. <laughs> Something's growing over there. Something gross. Oh, it's red mushrooms. No room in inventory, huh? Fortunately, we'll need to make room because that's kind of a red seesaw. God damn it! Oh man. This uh, upgraded plank packs a punch though. Why did it poison me? Was there a... there was... Bastard. There was a poisonous mushroom underneath the non-poisonous mushroom. Okay, come on. That was bullshit. I hit that dog three times, alright? Least traumatizing barker, they poison you if you step on them. Son of a bitch. Alright, we made it back. Now to continue where we left off from. After I loot my own corpse. Bastard. Harvest is ripe. Anything of value in here? Some alcohol? Very nice, very pog. Wardrobe with some flares. Okay, and some pills. Loads with an odd-looking mushroom and a note. 
I know they're there. I can hear them laughing. They're behind the wall of trees. I can't get through by myself. The trees go back too fast. I just realized something. What if I dragged the couch all the way back to my... Oh, Pog. White dress. Huh. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? This area has been cleared out thoroughly. Ah, not again. Come dogs. This game is truly giving me a great future fear of dogs where previously there was none. Oh, god damn it, not again. Oh my god, game. Here's the pristine one. We'll hold on to this one. You can tell it's getting late from the way the uh, sky looks. So it's probably a good thing that we came home when we did. is falling. Yell and lulls means lamp. <laughs> right you are. Right you are. Now 
Now then, let's properly barricade ourselves in here this time. I say properly, but it's really more doing the best I can, I suppose. With what I got. Alright, so this door has been fairly bar well barricaded. Both of them have been, in fact. No, don't make up another one. Shit. Well, I got two of these now, I guess. Could always be worse, right? I think after we survive this day, I'll go ahead and make preparations to head to bed. We got the rest of the week for horror games, don't we? And then next week we'll decide which one of these horror games we want to continue. Maybe we'll continue playing all of them, really. There it is again. It's... Oh. 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 It's you. This bastard. I see you're back. A dead savage? I actually got managed to kill him this time, though. Thank you for your patronage, buddy. It looks like if I had just stayed outside, I might have been fine, though. I'm so glad I barricaded that door. light outside here it is again it's strange thing that's just glowing outside the doors what the fuck Ooh. 
Who the fuck unlocked the door? What is that noise? Whatever it is, it's not a good sound that they're making. How did they get in there? Did they break through the... That's fucking stupid. I could have sworn I barricaded those doors. So dumb. Pushed it open. Figures. Doesn't look like they opened the barricaded doors at all. We survived yet another day, chap. how your usual night goes. Wish I could help with that. Alright. Thank you everyone for coming to tonight's uh, Starkwood stream. It was quite enjoyable, I must admit. This game is quite spooky. It's almost kind of stressful, actually. Although, the fact that you don't actually lose anything when you die kind of removes, just removes some of the stress factor. It's probably a good thing that I did not play it on Nightmare Mode like I was originally planning. Let's go ahead and raid someone tonight. Quite a few choices tonight, actually. Choices, choices, choices. Hey, still, I would like to thank you for suggesting Darkwood. Suge suggesting it hard, I might add. It is quite fun. I'm not sure... If we are when we're gonna play it next, but like I said, I will be free. I have taken off work for the next week or so, not this week, but next week. So we could probably find time to play it then. For now, though, who are we raiding tonight? Inferno Chim says he's uh, is on just chatting, but it looks like he's going through Twitter. Wonder what's going on over there actually. Three hours now. Um, beats the shit out of all of them and gets arrested. <laughs> but yeah, I'm intrigued by the by the they recognized him from his boobies part. And this shit too. This is ridiculous. This is such a good, a good, um, uh, this is from the comics. Um, why the fro? What's up, Yeti? How you doing? What's Jake Light up to? Gosh. I knew Jake Light was an artist, but I didn't realize that he did this level. Looks like he's doing a commission or something. He even made a Halloween-y kind of styled avatar for this month, which makes me really jealous. 
has a little vampire or Castlevania vibe going on there. I'm guessing you were watching Ant Man. Go ahead and. Oh, did you watch, there. Ant, watch Ant Man recently? Or Continue with a spooky theme. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. If I'm not too busy tomorrow on Tuesday, I might consider doing a gorilla stream tomorrow or Thursday. But there's some stuff I still need to get finished before next week. And I'm. Watch the first and second one. Planning on uh, using that time no for that purpose. Yet, yet right? I believe there's no third one yet. Gosh, quite a few viewers tonight. Six viewers, seven? A lot of people came in to see some spooky times, huh? They're probably good, but I imagine it's also a decent break from the norm. So thank you once again for everyone who showed up tonight. If you are a new viewer and you inter were enjoyed my kind of a uh, molding and seething over this horror game, feel free to drop me a follow. I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Otherwise, I'll see so y'all soon. Not, yeah, there's no next Wednesday is going to be fear. Mm -hmm. towns. First encounter is Salt Recon. Oh, so it's not released yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure adults watch it. It's no problem being watch it as adult. I mean, I watched plenty as of novel stuff. It's time for adult. a classic lulz raid. I'll see y'all next time. Oh, oh lulz time. Thank you for the raid. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Well, I'm Jake Knight right now, but I'm Jake, <laughs> Jake Light. Uh, how do you say, uh, welcome. Thank you for the raid last time. Hope you, uh, Hope your stream was doing well. Let's see, let me just give you a shout out. Uh, you're playing Darkwood. Very right, good to go. Take care, Jake. No problem, Ariad. Goodbye, goodbye. Good nice night. Right. See you later when I see you. Uh, Darkwood, I believe I know that game. It's uh, it was, Is it free right now? It was free last week uh, on 